Now, this is a car many have been waiting for, and this is the new Tesla Model Y for 2025. And for those who have been following this very closely, it's also known as Juniper. And according to Tesla, this is not just the world best selling EV, it is the world best selling car. Period. And this facelift, it looks pretty good and it has better efficiency. Let's go take a closer look. Tesla has done a good job on the Tesla Model 3, or better known as Highland, but I think they did a better job on the Tesla Model Y. Just look at it. You have this light bar that just runs across the entire width. And I know some of you say that this is a copycat of the Xiaopan G6, but honestly, this looks like a Cybertruck. Look at it. You see how it curves? Cybertruck, right? And you also get a massive front in front. So, by the way, the cover is not powered, it's still manual. And the front light right now comes with a drink plug. So you can use it as an ice box, or you can go for fishing and put your fish over here. And once you get home, you can just remove the plug and you can just drain the water out. That's very convenient, right? And if you go to the back, you can see a major refresh as well. It's a redesign. It's so different from the current Tesla Model Y. You also get a full width light element that's called the cross car lamp with an uh, indirect light. So it basically acts as an underglow tail light that runs across the boot lid, while the number plate now is moved towards the lower section of the bumper. Even the rear glass is different. It's no longer curved, it's more sharper, so it makes the whole back end look a lot more sharper and aggressive. And if you look at the midsection, you just ignore the front and back. Well, it looks like the previous Model Y, right? Because after all, this isn't an all-new model. It's like a product refresh. But to call this a facelift doesn't do this justice because they put a lot of upgrades into this new Model Y. Similar to the Tesla Model 3, the Model Y has a tweaked up suspension, different set of wheels and tyres to give it an improved ride quality. And to make it more comfortable and quiet for occupants, they have implemented double glazed windows for all four doors and they also added extra coating on the glass roof to improve the heat rejection compared to the previous model. And all these design changes are not just for look, it actually helps to make it more aerodynamic. On the previous Tesla Model Y, it's a drag coefficient of 0.23 CD. And this new one, 0.22 CD. And that's on par with sedans like the Tesla Model 3 and the BYD Seal. And that's remarkable for a five-seater SUV in this size. And as a comparison, the Xiaopeng G6 has a drag coefficient of 0.248 CD. So if you're driving at high speeds, more than 100 kilometers per hour, this is actually more efficient and you get more range. The new Tesla Model Y comes in two versions. The base rear drive version has a range of up to 466 kilometers on the WLTP cycle, 0 to 100 in 5.9 seconds. For the Tesla Model Y long range overdrive, drive, it has a rated range of up to 551 kilometers on the WLTP cycle and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.3 seconds. And the top speed for the new Tesla Model Y has been reduced from 217 kilometers per hour to just 201 kilometers per hour. Similar to the Tesla Model 3, but hey, 200 kilometers per hour is fast enough to most people. When it comes to charging, well, no changes here. The base model supports up to 170 kilowatts of DC, while the long range version supports up to 250 kilowatt DC. AC remains unchanged at 11 kilowatts three phase AC charging. On the inside, Tesla brought the same interior design from the new Model 3 over to the new Tesla Model Y. The old seats, which are quite squashy for my butt, have been improved for better comfort and they are now ventilated as well. You also get a slightly bigger screen which is used to control everything and the gear selector is still here on the screen and there is also backup buttons on the ceiling. But check this out, you still get stocks on the left for the signal light. Thank goodness for that. There's also ambient lighting for all doors and there's also a hidden blind spot warning LED on the corner just like the Tesla Model 3. Over the rear is very roomy in here. After all, the Tesla Model Y is essentially the SUV version of the Model 3. There's enough legroom and there's also ample space to put your feet underneath the seat in front of you. There's also an 8-inch screen for the back passengers to watch video and to adjust the aircon. You also get a glass roof which adds to the spacious feeling of the interior. Also new are these powered rear seats. Previously, you can just pull the switch to fold the rear seats down. But now, since it's powered, you can fold it right back up and down by pulling this lever, which makes it super convenient. And also, the underfloor boot storage is also bigger for the secondary level. So the first one is deep enough, and now the second level is even deeper than before. The Tesla Model Y is already available for orders in Malaysia. It can place a non-refundable 1,000 booking fee online to secure your unit, and deliveries is expected to start in late April 2025. And in terms of pricing, well, the base rear drive version 
is priced from 195,450 ringgit, while the long range version, which we see right here, is priced at 242,000 ringgit, 450 ringgit. And right now, the base color, which is a free color, is stealth gray. That used to be a 7,500 ringgit option, and now you can get it for free, and that's a very nice color. If you want glacier blue, which is a new color, costs you 7,500 ringgit. And this ultra red color, 11,000 ringgit. And as usual, the rims, you want to upgrade from 19 to 20 inch wheels, that costs you 10,000 ringgit. Interior, from black to black and white, that costs 5,000 ringgit. And of course, if you want to enhance autopilot with the auto park feature and summon, that costs you 16,000 ringgit extra. If you want the full set of driving package, but the FSC is going to cost you 32,000 ringgit, but I won't recommend it because you can't use it in Malaysia right now. So there you have it, the new Tesla Model Y for 2025, aka Juniper. This is a very solid product and I like the new upgrades. I like the design, I like the improved range, efficiency, quicker acceleration, and they also keep the stocks, which is a good thing. So for less than 200,000 ringgit for the base model, I think this is a very serious contender if you're looking for EV that's big and can carry a lot of stuff in the boot. So what do you guys think? You will get this over the other contenders like the BYD Seal Lion 7 or the Xpeng G6 that has integral uh, charging architecture. I think this is such a new benchmark for a sub 200,000 EV. What do you guys think? Will you get this or the rest? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to us on the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinsha.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye. <laughs>